Ancilla College in the quaint town of Donaldson, Indiana announced that they will start taking applications for their upcoming autism program. The program will start in August and students will be housed at the Lake House. Ancilla College President Dr. Ken Zirkle started the program after his daughter told him that the serene environment would be ideal for autistic students. His daughter is vice president at Mercyhurst University, which already has an autism program as well. She gets a hold of me and says, Dad, you've got the perfect place for a program dealing with people on the spectrum. It's a program that will focus on uh, uh, high functioning students that are on the autism spectrum. So they'll go through um, social skills. Again, that will kind of teach and promote those nuances that most of the time we don't really even need to think about. but. They exist, um, um, maybe some more explicit things. Some of those social skills will be tailored to individual needs. Um, so if someone struggles with, you know, conflict resolution with somebody, that will be practiced. If um, someone, um, and then it'll also be a group thing. So year one, they'll learn again how to interact with professors. By the second year, they'll be learning how to do interviews and that sort of thing so that they, you know, can get the jobs that they're qualified for. Ancilla College students graduate with two-year degrees with a student-faculty ratio of 14 to 1. Even before the college, the sisters have a history, and the college has a history of serving the underserved, and, and not doing it as a chore, but being proud of it, and saying this is, this is part of our life. We're a two-year school. Uh, hoping to get a few programs at the four-year level. I've applied for those working on that now, but for now, you go here and then you would transfer directly into a four-year program uh, in whatever field they're in. Uh, for example, we know that they'll have direct acceptance in a program in, in Erie, um, and uh, they, they're getting their people ready for Fortune 500 companies is really what they're doing. They will get academic support, um, and then they'll also get social skills to prepare them for gainful employment, so life after Ancilla. Students in the APEC program will be encouraged to participate in athletics and clubs. I've known of students on the spectrum that were runners. You know, we, we will have track and field here or cross country. Uh, we have, I know in some places where the a student with, on a spectrum Maybe you didn't have the quality to play basketball, but it could be the manager or the, or the information person, you know. So we'll look for ways of getting them involved in, in the areas they want to be involved in. We'll definitely be encouraged to participate in these extracurriculars. Um, they're going to do a whole lot of learning by um, practice and just kind of being involved. Students of APEC will live in the scenic lake house. They will be living in what will be called the lake house. Um, and that's specific to the APAC program. They'll have um, a counselor on site kind of living uh, with them. And that will, again, just afford extra opportunities if they get in a roommate conflict or um, whatever happens, you know, behind closed doors, there'll be a counselor there to help negotiate um, and to teach those skills. They will also have um, of social groups and events within the APAC program um, that will allow um, the, the housing uh, counselor and then myself to give immediate feedback and say, oh, that was, you know, this thing is inappropriate, let's do that again, or this is why, you know, that person out there got mad because this skill, let's practice a different way. Teachers finished a two-day training session to prepare for the incoming APEC students. We're doing a lot of hands-on training for that. The neat thing about it here is our faculty and staff seem really genuinely excited about this challenge and about this type of student. Again, you know you're gonna, you're gonna be dealing with a very bright person. And the challenge is now how can we get them so they can be functional? You know, that's a, that's a fun challenge when it comes right down to it. I, I honestly believe that we could be the school that turns out one of our graduates that is the person that will go out and find the cure to cancer. These people have that type, many of these people have that type of intellectual ability and if we can help them turn, who knows what they're going to be able to, what they're going to be able to find. And uh, so we're excited about it. But 16,000 people just in that category, just in Indiana alone. This program is important because 
students on the spectrum typically have a lot of supports um, growing up, whether it's an IEP or wraparound service or something of the like. Um, but once they age out of secondary school, out of high school, those services don't exist. Um, they're just kind of left wherever, you know, with whatever skills they had, that's kind of the end game. Um, these sorts of programs allow them to continue to kind of um, fine tune some of those skills that they've been working their whole lives to learn. While the program will benefit autistic students, other Ancilla College students will also benefit from the program. Well, if you look at society, you have what, three, three, three and a half million people in society uh, that uh, are on the spectrum. And so not everybody is like I am or like you are. You know, it's, it's going to be a way of helping people to understand and, and learn that not all people are the same. What's listed as a handicap in a way can not have to necessarily be a handicap. It can be an asset too. And I think, it, I think it's a great learning experience and, and they will have a different attitude when they're out in real life and uh, see somebody in that situation or when they need to help somebody in that situation, they're going to be more, more capable of doing that. Ancilla College is accepting applications for the APEC program now and is looking to select eight people to begin in August.